हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ टैबलेट सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज आई रिकमेंड यू टू चेक आउट द प्रीवियस वीडियोस एज इट इज क्वाइट हेल्पफुल फॉर योर टैबलेट प्रैक्टिस सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द डिफरेंट वेज टू शो टॉप एन एंड बॉटम एन वैल्यूज इन द इन सेम व्यू इन टैबलू so this is the most frequently asked question in tableau interview there are four ways to show top n and bottom n values in tableau first one is using sets second is using index third is using first and last function fourth is using rank and the window function let's see how we can implement in the tableau let's start with the first method by using sets to show the top n and the bottom n values using sets first we create a set of top n values and then we create a set of bottom n values then we combine both sets okay so let's create a set so i am using customer name with sales so i'm creating uh, sets of top n values first top n customer go to top go to field and you have to option top and the bottom using sales here either you can hard code the values by entering top 5 top 7 top 8 top 9 or you can make it dynamic by creating a parameter create a parameter enter the values to be like and values and use all values enter the current values click on okay and click on okay so we have created top and customer set now we will create bottom and customer set <coughs> repeat the same process enter the name of set go to top click on buy field now choose bottom and select the n parameter and select the parameter which is n values that we created earlier and select the sales okay so we have created one set for top and customer and second set for bottom and customer let's combine these sets enter the name of the combined set top n top slash bottom n customer so here we have top n sets and bottom n customer so these works like and join so i need uh, the data from the both sets so i'm using this one okay let's click on okay let's drag customer name to rows click on sales and drag top and bottom and combine set to the filter and show parameter as we can see let's first show the customer name based on sales as we can see top 5 and the bottom 5 customer using sets we can change let's change the top 10 so as we can see it is it is automatically changed top 10 and the bottom 10 customer with sales okay let's try second method by using index to use this method first we need to create a index and then we implement the logic so let's create an index create a calculated field i am using index the name of the calculated field is index so what calculation so what index will do it will provide the sequence to the customer name okay then we create a calculated field to implement the logic Let's enter the name of the calculated field so that the customer by using index okay let's implement the logic if 
index is less than equal to n values n values is the parameter that we created earlier then it will show talk and customers else if index is greater than size minus n values then it will show bottom and customers else others so let's discuss how this query will work so if the index is less than n value then top n customers or you want so as want to find out uh top five customers so uh, whenever the index is less than or equal to uh five five values then it will show top five customer okay and the second second uh, line is index is greater than size minus n values then bottom n customers suppose we have 100 customer so whenever the index will be 96 so the query will be 96 is greater than 100 minus 5 so 96 is greater than 95 so this query will work so it will show the result for 96 97 98 99 and 100 and all others value will be included in others okay click on ok so let's try the customer name click on sales show parameter and drag the custom drag the calculated field into the filters select all values click on ok click on show filter and remove others so the customer name based on sales so as we can see this view is showing top 15 and bottom 15 customer with sales okay we can change it to 5 and the 5 as you can see now we can see top 5 and the bottom 5 customer with sales okay let's discuss method 3 using first and last function to use first and last function to find out bottom n and the top n values we create a calculated field let's create a calculated field enter the name of calculated field top slash bottom customers using first n ok go to calculated field if First is greater than minus n values, then it will show to n customers. Else, if last last is less than and values then it should be the customers else all customers will be in others then so how this query will work so when you will use the first it will uh, keep the value in the minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. That's why we are using minus to compare the value. So if the first value, the first is greater than minus n value. So suppose we want to find out the 5 customer. So if minus 1 is greater than, uh, so minus 1 is greater than 
minus 5 minus 2 is greater than minus 5 minus 3 is greater than minus 5 minus 4 is greater than minus 5 okay then it will show token customer then the second line is if last so uh, suppose we have 100 customer and whenever you use last so it will trace last value as the first value so it so it will show the to, to, uh, sorry it will show the bottom and customer and, and else all uh, all customer will be included in others okay let's tag customer name sales you know which one is drag this calculated field into, into the filter select all click on ok so the customer name with sales click on show filter and then click on show parameter as we can see this is showing top 5 and the bottom 5 customer with sales okay you can change it to 10 also so now it's showing top 10 and the bottom 10 customers okay let's try our last method by using a rank and the window max function so let's create a calculated field enter the name of calculated field now instead of applying all the logic on the customer's name now we are applying all the logic on the sales because to use the rank and the window max function all the values uh, should be aggregated okay so let's apply if rank of some of sales is less than equal to n value then top and customers else if rank of some of sales is greater than window max rank sum of sales minus n values then bottom then Customers and others and let's see how this query will work. So uh, the first statement is rank sum of sales is less than n value. So uh, what we are doing here is we are assigning the rank based on the sales so whenever the rank is one I suppose, I suppose you want to find out the top five values so whenever the rank is one two three four five it will return these these values okay and the next is rank of sum of sales is greater than window max function rank of sum of sales minus n value so basically window max function is work like a size so it will return the max value of the rank okay uh, suppose we have 100, 100 customer with the sales so this query will work like whenever the rank is 96 so 96 is greater than 100 minus 5 so 96 is greater than 95 so it will return 96 97 98 99 and 100 okay and all others value will be included in others okay click on okay let's drag customer name click on sales let's track this calculated in the in the filter click on ok so customer name based on sales
click on show filter click on show parameter so as we can see top 10 and the bottom bottom 10 values by using rank and the window max function okay let's change it to 5 I click on enter so as we can see top 5 and the bottom end bottom 5 customers with sales okay that's all guys this is how we can implement all these methods to find out top end and bottom end values if you like the videos please do like share and subscribe and share it with your friends and stay tuned for more interesting videos thank you